Hey everyone, I'm back. So, in case you missed the news, my spouse and I were unfortunately hacked this last week. It was a whole mess to get our channels back. What seemed to have hit us was a pretty common sponsorship email scam that's been going around and targeting YouTubers specifically. And since our accounts were linked via Google, that means that when one of our accounts was compromised, both of our accounts were. Which sucks and was really scary, but the YouTube team were very helpful and fairly quick to act, all things considered, and so everything is okay now. Anyway, being without a Google account for nearly a week left quite a hole in my day-to-day -day life, so I had to find something else to occupy myself so I didn't spend the whole time worrying about the situation. So I decided to try and make a plush. And not just any plush, a little Tsum Tsum inspired golden pelt. And then also designed several others because they're just too cute. <laughs> if you don't know what Tsum Tsums are, they are Disney themed cute little bean shaped plushes with the main gimmick of them being that you can stack them all on top of each other. A cute concept and very easy to format and just make mountains and mountains of these little guys. And oh boy howdy has Disney done just that. They're unfortunately mostly only a thing in Japan nowadays. I remember when they first came out around 2013 and the Disney stores would have a big old shelf of these things, but you really don't find them that much in the US nowadays. Which does make me sad because did you know that there's a whole bunch of Kingdom Hearts Zooms? I want them so bad. <laughs> oh. Either way, I have recently also gotten into the Zoom Zoom mobile game. It's just a simple little line em up and watch em fall kind of game, and you can collect zooms in game for different power ups and such, and it's neat. It's a good distraction when I need to take a break from drawing. And working my hands on a little sewing project was a good distraction from everything else going on. And so now I have a little guy. I'll show him off in a bit, but here's some photos of me working on him. My mom was really good at sewing, and I would watch her sew quite a bit growing up and even helped her create patterns when I was in high school. So I have some base knowledge of sewing before going into this. I mostly just use it to patch up my clothes from time to time, but I've always been interested in learning how to make plushes. I generally don't have a lot of time or money to invest into a lot of it, as it does take a lot of time and the supplies sure aren't cheap. But I would like to eventually do more of this, and it is good practice. I've been gifted some fabric last year by a friend, and I was lucky and just so happened to have the correct colored fabric to make a golden pelt. So I got to work at first figuring out my pattern and cutting out my pieces. I found a few different templates online for Zoom patterns and kind of mixed and matched them to create my own pattern. I think it worked out pretty well, and here's my finalized little stink man. I love him. I want a million of them. <laughs> I can easily see how people really into sewing or knitting or cross-stitching wind up with a million kinds of fabric, yarn, materials, and just everything. As a digital artist, it's so satisfying to step away from my computer and craft something with your hands now and then. It's nice to just have that physical object right there. It feels so rewarding. I was able to finish this guy in just a couple of days, and so after I did that, I needed more of my characters at Tsum's. So I picked a handful of Whitney's and I's characters to give the Tsum treatment to. Of course, I started with Tsum's of our Sonas. One thing I quickly realized while drawing these is that I love giving characters big ears, like my own Sona. And Tsum's really try to go for mini proportions on things like ears, but I think I struck an okay balance. Whitney's was one of my favorites to do. The chibi-fied Tsum proportions just work really well for their design. Super cute. And after I finished those, I felt pretty confident going into some ones for Clouded Moon. Spotted Shadow, Golden Pelt, Dawn Frost, Wild Fur, and Wolfthorn were all obvious top picks. Though, to be real, I felt like I could have made a dozen more Clouded Moon ones and still not have been satisfied. I need Tsums of them all! So, I did actually end up adding designs of Peach, Pool, Moss, Rainfall, and True Pelt. And I still don't feel satisfied, but I had to stop somewhere. At least for now. 
Most Tsums have very little facial features, like eyebrows or mouths, but they aren't completely out of the question, so I tried to use them sparingly for characters I felt needed the most, like Golden Pelt and Dawn Frost's little eyebrows and Wolfthorn's cheeky grin. He just wouldn't be complete without it. Moving on from Cloud and Moon, I went to drawing some characters from Warped, Whitney's webcomic. I honestly think these ones might be the cutest yet. Foxit, in particular, has the look of, oh no, please don't turn me into a marketable plush. <laughs> and I love that. These character designs just lent themselves really well to being chibified like this, and I think they turned out so cute. The little additions with bits of their clothing really helped make them pop as well, like the little bit of Ren's pink jacket that you can see. Essie, of course, was interesting to do since they don't have eyes, which is a pretty uniform part of most Sooms, but I think they also turned out great. A perfect little trio. And of course, I also had to do some of Blanche and Sasha. These two are probably the hardest to translate into Sooms, because their designs are a bit more complicated, and some of their most standout features are around the eyes to indicate their magi powers. It was a good challenge, and I had to really think about how best to include Sasha's purple and yellow eyes, which is a big tell for her character design. And I think I ended up with something that works to show that off. It also makes her look a little cross-eyed, which I just think is cute. Now, of course, all of these are self-indulgent, but I also decided I wanted to make a few fandom-based zooms as well. Again, it was hard narrowing down my picks, but I wanted to draw a Meow Wow and Komori Bat for Kingdom Hearts. I wish with all of my heart that there was more merch of these Dream Eaters because I love them so much and I just want plushes of them in every size, but I guess my own take on them will have to do for now. I considered also doing a regular Shadow Heartless and maybe a Mushroom Heartless, but maybe another time. I'd love to do a deep dive drawing challenge where I just draw a bunch of Kingdom Hearts monster designs. I love them all so much and they're so fun to draw. But I did hold off from doing more Kingdom Hearts ones and decided to do my baby boy, my darling problematic son, <laughs> Darkstalker from Wings of Fire. I thought that he would be another challenging one like Blanche and Sasha were, just because of the shape of the dragon's head might not translate super well to round boy, but it actually ended up working pretty well. Using the different colors to highlight the edges of his cheekbones and jaw, I think really helped him keep his shape and not just look like a blob. I also gave him a little scroll and hourglass for obvious reasons. Especially in the Tsum Tsum mobile game, they'll have little special editions of the characters who are holding little props or something, and I thought that that would be cute for Darkstalker. And yes, here comes the aforementioned other Clouded Moon characters I talked about. I just couldn't help myself. And a good thing too, because Peach's fluff around her head is probably the most important thing I've drawn today, so, you know, lovely. <laughs> And this ended up just being a happy accident, but the brush I use for all my drawings was actually already perfect for kind of capturing that texture of the plushes. This was definitely a nice, fun, and little relaxing project to do after my big Riku is gay project. Next, I've got to work on my next Zodiac Animal Mage prompt, and I've got a couple of big Clouded Moon things that I'm in the middle of. So I really just needed to do a small thing before jumping back into other big projects, including getting more animation done for Cloud and Moon Chapter 2. So yes, all of that is still being worked on, and wish me luck as I dive back into all that. There should be some really fun stuff to come out this year, and I already feel like I'm on a good roll. Anyway, some of these little guys will be going up on my Redbubble as stickers and magnets and socks and the like, which is fun. If you liked these and would like to see more, let me know in the comments below who else you would like to see. It can be from anything, and maybe I'll do another batch of these in the future, because these were fun. I'd also love to see people do these for your own OCs. If you do, make sure to share them with me on Twitter or through the fan art link below. Have a fantastic week, everyone, and be sure to stay inspired. If you're in tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of drawing a play.